In this video, I'm gonna talk about what I'm doing for cardio during this 90 day challenge. Welcome back, my beautiful humans. It is week three of the 90 day transformation challenge. Last week, I dropped just a teensy teensy little amount, but it's okay because overall my progress is trending downwards and that's the direction I want it to go. This week, I wanna share with you what I'm doing for my cardio routine because it has changed since I started three weeks ago. When this challenge first began, my cardio was basically just two days a week. I was swimming for an hour and that was great. I love swimming, but this is a 90 day transformation challenge and I have a deadline to meet. Now I knew after such a small weight loss last week that I was going to need to change something up and I didn't really want to drop my macros just yet. So that leaves cardio. So first off, let's talk about what I'm doing with my swim workouts. Cardio swimming is actually pretty easy. You just go back and forth, and I try to keep my heart rate in zone two. You can use different things to do that with, like flippers and paddles and a board. It's pretty fun, I like it. Now you can make swimming as easy or as complicated as you want. I usually start off my swimming with 500 meters, just freestyle without using any of the tools. Then I put on a pair of fins and I do the kickboard for probably 300, 400 more meters just to get some work into my legs. And I finish it off using the paddles because with the paddles I can swim really fast. Really fun to swim fast and the paddles kind of make up for my lack of skill. It's also great work for your shoulders and your back. So I do this twice a week. Uh, I've dropped the time down from 60 minutes to 30 minutes, and then I do an additional 30 minutes sitting in the sauna. The second part of my cardio plan is walking. On the days that I'm weightlifting, I also do a 30 minute incline walk on the treadmill. Now I like to do this on the treadmill because it gives me some consistency in how hard I'm working. Um, I use my heart rate monitor to track and I can set the incline and the speed just so I can stay within a certain range. I do also walk outside, but it's not as easy to control uh, the parameters there. Like it would be hard to find an incline hill that I could walk up for for half an hour straight here. Um, so I don't really count those outdoor walks as a part of my cardio routine. The settings I use on the treadmill are kind of variable. Uh, like I said, I just try, I aim for a certain heart rate. Um, right now for me, it's between 110 and 125. That takes me into what's called zone two cardio. Uh, and then I just change the settings depending on where I'm sitting in that heart rate range. So if I get too low, I'll either increase the speed or increase the incline. And if I'm getting too high, then I'll do the opposite. All right, so that's all I have right now for my cardio plan. I'm doing five to six days a week. Uh, 30 minutes either on the incline treadmill or a 30 minute swim workout with a 30 minute sauna. And that takes us to the end of another fantastic week. If you're enjoying these videos, make sure you like and subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single one. And I will see you next week. Bye.